the uh, push the gas pedal down all the way to the floor. Is that all the way floor? Whoa! What did you do? I pushed it to the floor. Oh, why did it pop off then? I don't know. Is that do Push it again. What? Did it break it? Look down there and see. Not unless this came loose. It's not loose out here. It's moving. Yeah, it's like pulling on it. It's out of the pedal. Oh, it came out of the pedal? Yeah. Oh, the black popped out? No, the it's just the actual cable popped out and the black piece fell out after that came out. Do you want me to come hold the pedal up? No, I just need you to hand me something so I can hold the cable so it doesn't keep falling back in. Like what, a pair of vice grips? Yeah, just something. That's not good that it popped out like that. Let me see that black piece. Huh, it's not broke. So there's a split in this black piece? I know, and then the wire goes through the split. All right, put that light right on that thing. Here, I'll hold the light. You go ahead and push the pedal down and I'll watch it. Did you try to push too far, maybe? No, that's as far as I went. Uh, okay, stay there. That's so weird that it popped out. Okay, go ahead. Okay, just hold it to the floor. Huh? That's Max. Let go. Okay, that's it then. I don't know why that popped out of there. It's so weird. So we know it fully opens it out here. I think what happened was that even though this was... Let me get in here to show you. I don't think this was all the way to the floor. Let's do that right here. I'm turning this light. And just keep an eye on that red dot. See, I think the problem is, is that technically this pedal can go a little further forward before it hits the floor. 
So if it was really slammed down, it could probably pop out again. I think that is where people are bending the pedal. Where's the stop on this thing? There's no pedal stop. I don't know, we'll figure that out. At least we got throttle. scratched it putting it on but what do you guys think of the black I decided I want to go black maybe right about I think right about there is better yeah, I need to adjust that to where I want it exactly I think I want this tip down more but I like the black all in place now do a little pss, pss right there to get rid of that scratch. Same paint as here, wheel wells, all that stuff. But I think I'm gonna be cool with that. I like the black. And then I put a little heat shrink on the end of that. So hopefully it won't. I could've just cut it tighter, but I wanna leave myself a little slack just in case. So it's ready, but yeah, throttle's all done. Intake's done. So I'm draining my transmission fluid because I overfilled it. I didn't read the instructions and I thought that you just fill it up until uh, it does this out that hole. And that is not the case on this. So I'm kind of glad I went back and read because I got like <laughs> four quarts in here and it wasn't even coming out right here. So I thought that was weird because they gave me three quarts of breaking fluid and three quarts of good fluid. So I read and this should only take like two and two thirds quarts of fluid. So just under three. And then I read that it's supposed to be like an eighth inch from this lip. Well, that's a weird one because that I felt like I actually had about that much in there at the four quart mark. But anyways, I'm draining it now, clean fluid into a clean bucket. And I am going to let it finish dribbling. And then I'm going to put back in exactly two and two thirds quarts. And I'm going to go double check, read that one more time, but I think it's two and two third course. So don't overfill this because I feel like it'd be really easy to do that if you don't read. Wiring in a whole fuse block layout with all this stuff. I'm just going to keep it simple for right now and get it hooked up with just those few wires. And then maybe I'll come back in later if I want to add more circuits and stuff. So um, I think I'm just going to save myself time on that. And I ordered a throttle stop. I didn't know it was going to be the size of a freaking infant's forearm when I bought it. Obviously, I could heat the pedal and bend it. I don't want to bend the pedal, the, the throttle pedal, because I like where it's at. And it would have to bend down like that far before it even hit. So it would be a really low throttle pedal. I don't want that. I like where it's at. So I'm going to set up this throttle stop behind the pedal 
and this is like a more permanent accurate solution because then I can get it dialed in perfectly on the distance. So I just got this in. Uh, I got a couple more clamps to replace the regular clamps I got on the radiator hoses because one of them got messed up. Cable for the Holly to speak to the laptop. And then I'm not going to do the Dakota Digital gauges right out of the gate. I'm going to leave it open. I just want to be able to get this thing to a state where I can start it. Uh, let it run. Make sure everything works. And then once it does, then I'll introduce the Dakota into the Holly system. I just feel like there's too many things that could possibly go wrong at this point. And I just want to keep it simple for starting sake. So um, that means I don't need to... This is all the all the Holly stuff for the digital gauges. So I won't need to mess with that. I no longer need this BIM module to, because I'll be going to the Holly, so this is extra. So I do have a splitter. So this means I can run the handheld uh, handhelds over there, the, the handheld for the Holly, and run the Dakota stuff at the same time. So that would be nice to be able to run both at the same time and not just one or the other. And then I think the only the only one, two of these wires that I have to hook up right now for outputs because I'm not running the transmission harness and I'm not running a drive-by wire harness. I think I just have to do the fans on this. So that's going to be really simple because I already got my fan wiring uh, ran. So that just means I have to plug it in. So I'm going to start picking up some of this other small stuff. I still have to get that wideband O2 routed up in here. I got to get this into the grommet. And I've got some small things to pick at before I uh, be close. But I'm thinking if I can get a lot of this stuff knocked out um, today, then that means I'm probably going to be starting this next weekend, if it'll start. So uh, adjust clutch and brake pedal, bleed clutch, O2 sensor wire, that's what I was saying, starter wire, cross number guts, this will come later, shifter clearance, I'll come later, coolant, gosh. Okay, let me knock these things out. I'm gonna get this to a point where I'm getting close to starting. All right, I'm just camped out inside now and I'm working on, uh, I got the pedal stop down there. You see that shiny bit? I need to, uh, I got two set screws in there. I need to, yeah, it's fine. Um, but it, I need to, if it hits, I just need Caleb to go on the other side and help me adjust it. Uh, so then I've been kind of running my wires. Um, I got the harness coming up through here. It's really impossible to get like everything completely tucked up because everything is kind of going in different locations and then, but it might not seem like it looks tucked, but it is, it's clean. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put the computer yet, but I got, main power for the computer. I got this bundle right here and um, fans are going to use a couple of these which are coming through the firewall and they're in this harness. Um, so that'll be fans. Uh, this is this is fuel pump right here. This will go in this group. And then there's, uh, I think the green wires, the fuel, the blue is attack, which I'm not using. And then there's gonna be two different reds or yeah, red. One of the reds is gonna be constant power. One of the reds is gonna be switch power. And yellow is the alternator exciter wire that I could use if I wanted to. Oh yeah, here's the other one. So the solid red, and then a striped red, a couple grounds. And then 
That just plugs into the computer. So it's really not bad. I think I'm just trying to take my time and getting wires kind of situated. So I'm going to continue doing this, cleaning up for a while. Um, I want to have it to a point where everything's ready to start, but I don't want to rush to start this weekend. I still have to uh, take the memory card out of here and update the uh, whatever software this thing uses. Yeah, got to pull this out, put it on the laptop, upload the most current stuff. I do want to put this. <coughs> I, I do want this to mount right here, but I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know if that's too. I'm going to. I'm thinking about 3D printing some kind of bracket. to hold it in position. I don't know, something like that maybe. Only problem is the cord coming to the bottom, so it's not really like handy to have it. I could lift it up. I don't know, it depends on how well I can see it when I'm driving. But for right now, this is my first option. So I'm gonna try to make this work. Except for I'm gonna lose my my plug. <coughs> I don't know. I don't I don't have to have it right there. I don't want to sit it right there because it's at an awkward angle. I don't have anywhere in the dash because I could put it right here on the radio blank spot. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But yeah, I gotta update this stuff. I just want to have everything dialed in. And then I want to have, when I go to start it, I just want to have, be able to focus just on starting. So let me keep on working on this mess. All right. Well, I have Caleb's help. I'm going to have him obviously in the trunk because I would take up twice as much space and it would be awkward watching me climbing in and out. So we're going to hook up some stuff back here at the battery. I think we're all dialed in. Got it grounded. I got separate terminals for the poly computer. I'm going to wrap those lines later and breaker and power switch off. We hit it once. Nothing, nothing stank. So when Caleb watch the Caleb hits it, car has power. So car hasn't had power in a long time. I don't hear nothing. Nothing smoking, nothing stinks. When I first hit the power, I heard the relays up here do something, but I think the battery stuff's done. Go ahead and turn it off for now. And we're just gonna double check all the lines, make sure everything's tight and we're gonna call back here, good to go. I think I'm gonna call it for today. Happy to have the trunk clean again. It was nice to see the tail lights on again. Love those things. So I'm gonna keep on picking at this. So next weekend, next weekend, this thing will be attempting to start next weekend. I'm going to pick up this stuff during the week and hopefully everything works as intended. Got the throttle stop done. That's tightened up. Got the clutch blood a little bit. Um, there's really nothing stopping me. I'm going to get some distilled water and then I'll pick up this and we'll be good to go.